replacing the air springs on this 2000 Lincoln Town Car. The air suspension is a very common problem with these vehicles. The um, air springs is a pretty simple job, they're not bad to do. Uh, they have blown out on this vehicle and the compressor cannot air them up because they're popped. Uh, you can see how low the vehicle is sitting. Uh, anytime you see a town car sitting like that, it means it has a problem with the air suspension. Uh, so we're going to get started and we will replace these rear air springs. All right, we are under the vehicle now. Uh, you can see this is the old air spring. It just it wasn't holding any pressure anymore. Um, so we need to take that out. First thing we have to do, there's actually a clip up on the very top up here, which we get from the wheel well. Um, and then after we get that clip out, it comes out fairly simple. All right, we are under the wheel well right now. You can see inside this gap, this little gap here, is the top of the air spring. There is a metal clip, which if you can see right here, I'm wiggling it. That is the clip that holds the top of the air spring in. So all you have to do is get that clip off of there, and it's kind of just a big C-clip. You can usually just kind of push it back. And work it out. And that's what it, that's what it is. That's what holds the uh, top of the air spring sits in that little gap right there. And that just holds it straight up. That's all that holds the top of it in. Now we can go back under the vehicle and continue. Okay, we're back under the vehicle. We got the top clip disconnected. Our next step is to remove the air solenoid, which once you get the top clip disconnected, you can see here is the air solenoid. There's another little metal clip inside here. This one we're gonna need a screwdriver for. This clip right here just pops out. Just give it a little pry and you'll see it pop off. Don't lose it because you need that to put the new air solenoid or air spring back in. Okay. Once that clip is out, the solenoid itself, actually to give us a little bit of room, we're going to disconnect the bottom here first. Where the bottom of the air spring sits on the differential, it's just a clip in there. And this one is just uh, held in there by pressure. And if you just give it a nudge, it should pop it right out. That'll give us a little bit more free play with the air solenoid. Once you get that out, you turn it counterclockwise one notch and it'll stop. At that point, you pull it straight out, turn it counterclockwise again, and then the whole solenoid is removed. At this point, wow, the air spring comes out. You can see here, looking at the old air spring, all these cracks were causing it to leak. So this air spring was just completely done. All right, our next step to install the new air spring. What we have to do, the air spring actually comes with new O-rings, so we'll install those. You see it right here on the end of the solenoid. There's a solen there's an O-ring in there. Also, you want to make sure that the old clip if you look at the bottom of the air spring, you want to make sure this old clip came out with it. This is actually, all it does is snap into the bottom of the, uh, or I'm sorry, the top of the differential, and that's what holds the bottom in place. If that's stuck down in there, you want to make sure that comes out, otherwise you'll end up cracking your new air spring. So, that's all clear. We'll change that O-ring, and then we'll install our new air spring. All right, we have our new air spring. Uh, we got this from AutopartsDirectU.com. These air springs have a lifetime warranty. They're upgraded with uh, continental rubber, um, and it's supposed to be much better than the factory ones, and they are guaranteed to never fail on you. The uh, kit also comes with the new seals, as well as the instruction sheet. So we'll go ahead and get our new air spring installed. All right, now we're going to install our new air spring. First step, 
is we got the uh, O-rings on the new on the old solenoid. So we're gonna go ahead and get the solenoid seated in here. You just repeat it, put it in until it stops, turn it clockwise, push it in another notch, turn it clockwise again. At that point it's fully seated. Now we retake our little metal clip and that just snaps right over like so. And now the solenoid is locked in. All we do is guide it back up. One very important step is to make sure the bottom clip on this air spring is completely seated into the differential before you lower the weight of the vehicle onto it. If it's not, it'll break that clip right off. So we need to make sure all you have to do is twist it and swiggle her down there. There we go. You can see it's seated now. All we have left is to put the clip on top and then we're all set. You don't want to lower the vehicle all the way onto the deflated air spring. You lower it about halfway down and let your suspension compressor pump it up about halfway and then you can remove the jack all the way and let the compressor pump it up the rest of the way. And other than that, we are complete.